we need a new force. We'll call it the Space Force. Space Force. Space Force. Space. You know all about Space Force. But space is a very big factor in the Trump administration. You will have the Space Force. You know, people are so excited by that. Oh, yeah. Look, he's done it several yeah. times. He's talked up the Space Force. Who better to talk more about this than Fox News correspondent Leah Gabriel, a former Navy pilot and, better yet, a CIA-trained intelligence operative. Whoa! Some credentials you well, got there. Well, thank you, Stuart. OK, lay it out for me. What will the Space Force actually do? All right. Basically, our near-peer adversaries, China, Russia, are weaponizing space. There's an, a recognition that as we have developed our technologies, space has become something that's very important in order to conduct our operations. Okay. When you think about how you communicate in our country, when you think about how you navigate in your car sure. using GPS, our military uses all of those same things. Right now, Russia and China, our U.S. intelligence has assessed, has assessed that they've been developing uh, different space technologies. They've launched experimental satellites. Have they got and they're weapons threatening. in space? Essentially, I think the answer to that is yes. I think okay. that as I think that when you look at the technology that they're developing, yes, they are weaponizing space. Absolutely. So are and we going to are we going to get up there with guns in space of our own to shoot them down? Well, potentially. I mean, th that's not exactly what we're looking at. What we're really looking at doing is being able to defend ourselves. If we were to get into a conflict with a near peer adversary, we believe that they would justify shooting down our satellites, that they would justify um, disrupting things that we are capable of by our use of space. So we have to protect ourselves. It's really, as a United States military, we defend ourselves. We defend Americans and our interests abroad. And we also defend things like the ability for other countries to I, use I, I areas like the that. sea and space. I just want to know what it's going to do. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, can, are you going to be dressed up in an astronaut's outfit and I get sure out there with so. a, a rail gun or something? I sure hope so. That's what that's what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'd love to do. I, I think that you know, you look at what we do through NASA, and NASA does not uh, weaponize space. NASA is there; it's it's more of a diplomatic space exploration. But there's this recognition that these other countries are doing it, and if they don't do it, or if we don't do okay. it, they're so, going to, and we're going to put ourselves in, in judgment harm's way. call. Judgment. Should we weaponize space? Yes? There's a concern that ah, we will end come up... Come on, There's a yes concern that we'll end no. up in a weapons race. We have to weaponize Thank space. Thank you. There we you have go. to weaponize space because our Sorry. adversaries are working on it. They're working at ways to disrupt us, and we have to be able to counter them. Look at what Russia did to Crimea. Okay. We have to be able to protect ourselves from space. We have to be able to protect our military systems that operate by space-based programs. Russia and China are coming after us. So, did you enjoy your performance this morning on Fox News? I very much did. I'm glad that you prepared me for this, If you're not Stuart. careful, you'll be asked back. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, it's been a lot of fun. seriously, thank you very much indeed. Thanks Lola. for having me. Good stuff.